Hello and welcome to Mad Mike Makes. In this video I'm going to show you how to build a really simple French cleat lock. Let me show you. So it's rock solid and yet clips off easily. Don't go away, I'm going to be right back. So, what are you going to need to do this project? Let me show you. You're going to need a French cleat for the wall. You're going to need a piece of conduit. And we're going to need a dowel. A dowel! Could help you so hard to find these days. Now, this little hack is specifically for very small and light tool holders like this. Let me demonstrate. You take your mallet off the wall, you're in a hurry, and that drives me nuts. Step number one, we want to fit the dowel to the back of the tool holder to create this hinge defect. So we're going to just flatten the dowel a little bit to make it easier to drill into. Step number two is we're going to router a very small round into the bottom of this cleat and it's in a very specific place. Uh, I'll explain that. So this round needs to be exactly 10 millimeters in from the face of the cleat and the reason for that is we're using 20 millimeter conduit uh, which means that the contact point is exactly 10 millimeters in which is obviously half of the the diameter of the conduit So now the next step is incredibly important because conduit can be very brittle and it can break while you're cutting it um, and so it can be quite dangerous if you don't do it properly. I recommend that you wear a pair of very good goggles and what we want to try and do is we want to try and make a clip that looks something like that and I hope you can see that. And I've made up a little jig just to make this a little bit safer. As you can see, I've already done a bit of test cutting. So you can either do a little bit of a, of a cut so that you can put a screw into, into the conduit there. Or you can just cut it at an angle on your mitre saw and put a screw in as well. Now I've distanced this 15 millimeters off the edge of, of this board. Um, and the reason for that is you want your clip to be less than 16 millimeters um, and you'll see why that is shortly so i'm just going to do this cut quickly and then we can go from there piece of conduit to the right length that I want uh, that I want and I've drilled three holes in 
I'm now going to fix it back to the back of that um, of the tool holder. Now the tool holder is obviously just a demonstration piece of board, um, but uh, I think you get the idea. And I'm just going to show you from the side how this actually clips in. Now, just a quick note on this: you can make this different sizes depending on obviously the size of your tool holder and how much grip you want. Um, if you have a, fa a fairly big tool holder and you want to make it the whole length, when it clips in, it's going to be quite a tight, uh, quite a tight fit um, because of the springy nature of, of the conduit along the total length. So you can decide whether you want to make a long clip or a small, short, small clip for not that much pressure. Okay, so let's look at this in action quickly. Unclips, clips, and it really is solid. Now, for those of you that are still with me, there is a small trick to actually fitting this conduit and I'm going to tack that onto the end of this video for those of you that are interested um, it's a small jig and it makes it really easy just to get the positioning of this just spot on for the rest of you I thank you for watching and until the next video I bid you farewell and I hope you have a fantastic day okay so I found out the hard way that you can actually uh, install this conduit so that it is slightly twisted around and then what happens is that edge protrudes past the cleat and that's no good because then your tool uh, holder doesn't actually sit flush with the cleats so it's actually a very simple fix it's a case of just taking one of your your cleats and screwing a bracket onto it and then when you have the cleat installed underneath the dowel you can just slide the conduit underneath there make sure that it's not touching the bracket by swiveling it and then you can actually drill pilot holes and just screw those screws in it's that simple